Christmas 2021 will definitely be the year of the Quest 2. I've been playing some very cool games recently and I wanna show those games in this video. And I couldn't even play my Quest 2 without my friends at VR Wave. In fact, we know you're gonna love them so much, VR Wave wants to hook you up with your very own pair of prescription glasses for the VR system of your choice. The cool thing about VR Wave lenses, they magnetically attach to your headset, so you don't have to wear contacts, you don't have to wear glasses, your glasses don't get pushed up against your face when you're playing, which could, by the way, scratch your glasses they did with my last pair that I had. It makes it so much more enjoyable and more immersion for your VR gaming experience. And they're not a one size fits all. These lenses are perfectly made for your prescription. Nearsighted, farsighted, if you have astigmatism, whatever the case is, they're gonna help you out. They even have options for blue light filtering and anti-glare to protect your eyes. And by nature of you not wearing glasses, it'll actually even protect the built-in lenses from scratches. Very important. They have some great deals on these right now. If you haven't done so yet, check out their link in the description below. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Follow VR Wave on Facebook. Leave a comment on this video letting us know why you need these VR lenses is custom made for you and we'll grab a winner here pretty shortly so make sure you hop to it right the footage and my voice is actually captured inside the quest itself you can record yourself while speaking and getting gameplay footage so I'm gonna go to that right now let's check out some games I've been playing recently you just gonna, you're just gonna meditate you're just gonna sit there and meditate dude seriously <laughs> jump up <laughs> Uh, this game is called Ven VR. It's a 3D action platformer where you control Ven. I mean, this is, you're down here. I mean, that's your character. But it's a, you know, it's Ready a platform right here. So you get to, like, just go around. And... Well, these kind of games, I'm all down for. That's a checkpoint right there. So this is, uh, it's called Ven VR. And... I don't know how much of this I can show you, but I was just saying, look, this is this and more. I mean, this is just the very first stage. Oh, hey, Going back to the future stages. Oh, hey, there's one of my friends. There's one of my guys. I gotta find a way to get there. You can control, you can snap the controller, you can snap the camera around. I gotcha. All right. You gotta find those guys around here, too. You come up this way. Oh, you look all mean, but look at you. Look at you. And you're, oh, I can, I can, you can, we could literally just push. I didn't actually, I honestly didn't know you could just push them around like that. <laughs> oh, hey, there's another one down here, too. See? It needs to be in VR, so you can actually, like, you know, literally look, look around corners and stuff like that. Yeah, I'll come go. Attack. If you do have a downward attack, if you double jump with that, I'll show you something this guy. Oh, not again. Uh, yeah, he got me. He got me. He got me. It's all good. Where am I? Here I am. This place again? No. I'll wait till he does his thing. There we go. Little smash there. <laughs> Very. Uh oh. Not good. I hope the other one. No, jeez, look how far down it is. Yeah, don't don't look down. Don't worry. Huh? It's we'll called get... Ragnarok. It's a rhythm game. You have your drums, and you it's, you'll its you see what it's like here. Here we go. All right. Here they come. You just hit them right on the things. And the better you do, the faster your guys uh, run the road. So I can do better than that here. better next time. I'm, I only placed 5,627th place <laughs> on the leaderboards for this song in particular. Uh, there are so many songs you can choose from. Um, you can do a little sample by clicking on them. Oh, this one's called Loki. You can like, you know, hear a little bit about him. Tortuga. You might know that one from. So. Oh, hey, here's one. Masters of the Galaxy. So lots of songs you can choose from. Rhythm game. Absolutely love it. You can do uh, like a two-player mode on this one as well, a player versus player. So a lot of options on this one. Rock. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, Ragnarok. Ragnarok name of this game. And I just absolutely love it. This game is called Walkabout Mini Golf. And there's a new course there, the Gardens of Babylon. 
but I'll just show you a little bit about this game. The perfect mini golf game for your Oculus Quest. Here we are. Hold the trigger. I see, you only got one look at your wrist. Tells you what time it is. That's actually literally what time it is right now, too. Interesting. Uh, part two on a uh, very simple course, and this whole island here is this course. Let's hope how it looks. You can teleport by using the analog, or just push the uh, pull the trigger. You'll already be aligned to your ball. Look down. There it is. Play some mini golf. Follow through. Ah! Lame. Start pulling the trigger if you want. Start pulling the trigger if you want. I'm looking around here because sometimes you'll find other golf balls hidden, and there's one per course. I have a couple of them, but not all. Let's see if I can just get the par on this one. Nice! Thank you, thank you, thank you. And it's already telling you that there's your ball. So you can go over there if you'd like. You can actually literally walk over there. Just don't look around. <laughs> or just pull the trigger. Okay, right to where you need to go. Alright. There we go. Got this rock in the way. Let's see what we can do here. Not bad. Not bad. See, the other idea is, fortunately, it's VR, so you're not like trying to do that weird spacing thing, you know, when you're actually playing real mini golf. No, 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 no! <sighs> nope, didn't work that way. Let's grab it here. <laughs> I'm gonna like, crack it over there. Bounce off the wall. Not bad. Now, see, I'm, I'm always looking around for these. <laughs> the other alternative here. Load up on ammunition and first aid. The Germans will be there any second. Sounds good. So, oh, I got another syringe. Perfect. Uh, this game is Medal of Honor above and Lieutenant, beyond. Looks like enemy reinforcements are heading oh, up the road. They're already here. Ready? All right, so I got my gun. And I got a razor. Oh, really? Um, it, the stars above their head tell me what kind of difficulty they are as far as... It is environmental, so you can kind of lean over. Lean. You want to come down here? You want to get down on the ground? Uh-oh, that's not good. <laughs> did you blow? Oh, I was going to say, did you blow up? Anyway, hey, here's one. Here's one I can use, too. Let's grab both sides, pull both triggers. There you go. What else we got? Uh, the grenades are fun. I got a grenade right here. You can pull the pin with your hand, or literally use your teeth. Is that good? Oh, okay. This guy too. Where is from? Oh, there's one right here. Oop, there you go. Special delivery. Got him. Uh, uh oh, out of ammo. Yep. Just pull the trigger and do that. Uh -oh. Gotta reload it, huh? <laughs> ah, come on. Come on. There we go. So anyway, with Medal of Honor, yeah, it may not look like... You know, we've, we've seen games that are like this that maybe look a little bit better. I still like this one a lot because it has that wartime feel to it. Um, I actually like the graphics. I like the kind of cartoony element to it. Um, and then on top of that... Every mission is like these quick little missions here. Now, I'm just spending, installing a lot of time right now. Uh, but it just goes from this, you do this, and then it's not like you go, like you walk over the hills or anything. It's like, okay, now you're done. And then it just moves on to the next mission for you. Uh, lob it. Ooh, that's a, too much of a lob. And terrible aim, too. You get shot, like I got shot. Get your syringes on your hand. You grab one, chuck it. Right in your chest. There we go. All right. Let me also look around here. Now, let's look at this. Oh. I'm running into enemy territory here. You'll see why in a second. I'm not going to live too long here. <laughs> you, can, you can take items. Yeah. Oh. Ah, see, that's what happens when he gets me. All right. 
Fair enough. This is Smash Drums. I'm so happy this game is now available officially through the Oculus Quest store. Um, there's one of those App Lab games you have to sideload and something like that, but it's, it's an official game now. I mean, the other games, not that the other games aren't official. You know what I mean, though. So let's go solo. You can do that. All right. Uh, we'll go normal. Let's see. We'll go normal on this one. You can also do 360, so you're constantly turning around. Right now it's on 360. We'll go ahead and try that just so you can see what's going on. Here we go. When they come at you, hit them. If there's a two on him, you have to hit it twice. Ah, oh, come on. Start to pivot a little bit more. Okay, turn over this way. This is class, uh, Clash of Chefs. Clash of Chefs. Uh, I'm not going to worry about customizing myself here. I'll just, you can do, uh, if you want to do pizza, you want to do sushi and stuff like that, Mexican food. Um, just to keep it simple, I'll start with the American cuisine. We'll start at level two here just for fun. And it is just you're at the counter and you're the one making the food here. Let me back up just a little bit here. And uh, you wait for your orders to come through. You got your preparations here. You know, your meat, your fries, and all that, depending on what they want to order. So he's going to take the order here. All right, so we got a, a two-meat burger here. So grab a couple of patties. You can just use your hands. That's fine. Put a plate down here. Bottom bun right there. Uh, no cheese or anything. That's going to be easy enough. When they ding, they're done. Thing on top. Put it up there. Ring the bell for service. And looks like more. It's all right. We can put a couple of them on here. No problem at all. Oh, the one was still the one. Oh. Uh, there we go. You don't want these to burn. Oh, one of them burned. Hopefully it's going to be okay. Come on, ding it. There we go. <laughs> ding it. And then another double meat. One with cheese this time. We have cheese right here. Easy enough. The way I like mine. Got to have a cheese one. Oh, does he not want the other one? Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, dude. Here. Ah, these burnt. Whatever. Okay, I'll toss those over here. What are you looking for? That one? Sure. And it starts getting pretty hectic after a while, right? Oh, hold on, hold on. Need the top of the bun there. Service. And then it's also like you can you, you can cut the, uh, you know, those. You can use... You know, ah, come on. You know, you can do... Someone's going to order onions later on. You can do that. They want something to drink? Grab grape. Always. Grape is delicious. Bacon, no problem at all. Got a knife. Bacon for you. Fries, right into that there. You want some fries? There we go. Perfect. Yeah, a lot going on with this game. I love it. Um, and you can, like I said, you can do pizza. You can do Mexican food. It gets pretty hectic after a while, but still, uh, still pretty fun there. Here, I burned the bacon for you. There you go. Here's a game called Dead Second. This game is available through the App Lab, and this is uh, still a work in progress. They're, they're working on it right now, but what I've seen so far has been a lot of fun. You, hush, you uh, hold your button down. Oh, you can shoot these balls if you want. Boom. And you want to reload? Came down. There you go. And then when you hold your uh, other button down, that chooses where you, you can do it. Like right now I'm standing, or I can go over here and go crouched.
That's the best part. They're crouching. You don't have time to look around. All right, I'll just keep on moving to the next uh, point of interest here. Oh. I don't know, he's gonna be right there, though. <laughs> yeah, of course, he's dead second in here. Oh, there's a barrel. I could have shot that, too. Uh, I, I like what I've seen in this game so far. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to have fun with it. Yeah, through the app lab. Here's a game called VR Blast. Uh, this game is in the app lab, and you might want to check it out. I think it's pretty neat. Two, one, Let's go. go. You're like, wait, what? It's like a puzzle game? Yeah, you shoot them. And the ones that are connected to those pieces will disappear. Kind of fun, right? Like if it's just one, it'll just it'll block it. So it's like you can't do that. But uh, yeah, yeah, I can't. Again, can't explain it. It's fun though. I think the music helps too. <laughs> a nice, fun, easy game for you though. Uh, not easy by a uh, you know difficulty standards, but easy, just like you know, easy going. You know, something like your kids can play. You know, teach them how to aim, I guess. I mean, it shows the aim, you can see the aim right on there. So you don't have to, like, you know, actually aim it proper. But, well, VR Blast, it might be worth checking out for you. Here's a game called Warcasm. Go check out Warcasm right about now. What we got? What we got? So Resident Evil 4 for the Oculus Quest 2, I'm here to tell you, thus far is my number one most absolute favorite VR experience I've experienced so far in VR, and I'm not kidding. I've played a lot. So now in full disclosure, I've already beaten this game. I'm actually on my second playthrough now, and when you do your second playthrough, you have all the items and everything, like your guns and weapons and stuff that you had when you beat the game. Um, Drop a little something sometimes. There we go. I'll take it. You can check it, Bert, if you'd like. Looks like a warning of some sort. Okay. Because uh, you're, you're checking this thing. Grab that. Oh, hey. They, the bird had a grenade. All right. You can come over here. You can use the analog to move around. You can also... I mean, whatever kind of smooth turning you want. I like to stand and just literally pivot my body. There you go, dude. Hi. All right. Take care, buddy. Oh. So, let us find some enemies. Now, you have a couple things on your chest here, too. You got your knife. Oh. Well, you can, it, it'll always come back to you. So, you don't have to put it back on your chest if you don't want to. But you can, you know, whatever whatever hand you feel like doing it. You got your gun. You got something behind your back. Uh, oh, that's a pretty that's a pretty good one. It's a shotgun. Um, and you can change all these, of course, in the options menu, like such. Um, I have a little automatic. Um, you know, there's like a rifle. Um, I'll show you the rifle for a second. This one is kind of cool. Um, yeah, your ammo, your gun, your you know, whatever health, whatever. However, we got to maximize this. There you go. This guy saw me. All right, let's do it. That's what I love about this game, is you just aim and shoot. Now again, I'm on my second playthrough. Oftentimes I'll shoot them and just start s stabbing them until they're gone, just to save on bullets and all that, you know. These might have items inside. Grab the treasures, you can buy stuff later. Alright, let's do it. But like, this has a thermal on it, so when you look through it, you can see them better and use this later on in the game. I don't want to spoil anything. Um, but this is, this is, I mean, this is a whole game. You just go around and 
I mean, that's not the whole game. Oh, look, there's someone in there. I'll get it right now. Oh, nope. Okay. Uh, grab onto it. There we go. So, gotta zoom in a little bit. Oh, we gotta... Uh, if you look at your... I have, a uh, 18 of 10. They're kind of coming after me here. Ah. You can shoot those out of the sky so you don't get them in the leg. Nope. Get him in the leg. Get him in the leg. Crotch. Oh no! And then if they get close enough, cut you in the little cutscene. Go from there. Anyway, the entire, this is the entire game. Um, it took me about 13 hours. Super fun. Yeah. So this game is called Captain Toonhead. And I have these, which can turn into guns later, and I'm helping people out here. Now, it's a tower defense game, but it's interactive. Like, you can, it's tower defense, and you still help out people here. There it is. Rocket. Let me start the launch sequence. So here we go. I'm okay. This stuff. I guess and I can install a tune rat. The tune mm, rats are there. the turrets, basically. Or yeah, maybe you there. They're coming out of that hole there. there. So I'm going to put one there here. Good. When you are ready, hit the enemy gate, and I will let it open. Break that gate! Don't Sounds let good. That I'm gonna go straight over to this, just for now. Stop you. Turn these into guns, right? You can also jump up here to kind of look around a little bit, if you'd like, which is kind of nice. Here comes the first wave. What? You can also go to where this is and shoot these guys as they are, and your missiles will help when they get closer. Items, pick up your things. Let's zoom over here. There we go. And again, you can also jump Everything. up here, and that might help too. That's difficult. <laughs> so, tower defense, right? Because right now I'm protecting those people. And again, leave that comment because you could be winning your own pair of VR Wave prescription lenses. For your Quest 2, or if you happen to have a different VR device, we'll hook you up with that all the same. I've done so many more videos on great games on the Quest 2. Make sure you check out those videos.